I think Albo's really crying out for a goal. He's had some real good opportunities and uh, yeah, it gave her a lot of confidence. Yeah, really good performance. Difficult game for us. Physical challenge. Obviously, a uh, physical team in Hammerby. I think they obviously outnumber us a little bit in terms of size, uh, considering when you look at our midfield. But um, I thought the girls handled it really well. I thought we dominated the game in the early parts. We were just a little bit off in our kind of final, not necessarily see final action. I think there were some decent type of crosses that were going into the box. I just felt that we were a little bit reactive in our crossing positions and just a little bit late. We had one good opportunity, I think, with Alba. Um, one where Buddy Nuddy got on the end of and we just needed to like speed up a little bit in terms of being on the end of it. And... Uh, we, you know, we spoke about that at half time and within 30 seconds, we score with Laura getting into that type of position that we've been talking about. Yeah, a lot of confidence because she's, uh, you know, she's had to probably necessarily bide her time a little bit. She's coming into a, a group of players, obviously with Jill, with Viv, um, with Laura Coombs, Jess Park. There's some good players in there, you know, and she understands that. She's recognises where she's at but when she's had opportunities she's done well um, and always the challenge it will be for her for any player who plays in those positions is you have to provide and, and score and be really really uh, good for her confidence tonight to do that. And the same with Alba as well I think Alba's really crying out for a goal, has had some real good opportunities and uh, yeah it gave her a lot of confidence. No, we've just got uh, an issue with Lauren that we just need to analyse a little bit further, that's all. Um, something that potentially was happened in the Palace game, um, so I uh, was able to play in the Spurs game, so wasn't able tonight, so we'll just take a little bit longer to assess and find out a bit more. But again, going back to the performance, I think it's fantastic to be obviously top of the group and taking maximum points, um, particularly tonight when we're missing Viv, Laya. Naomi Lazel, we don't start Jill, uh, and obviously Lauren missing as well. So I think great credit to the girls to be able to do that. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. I think um, there's there's an opportunity there. So we'll just have to, like I say, take our moment tomorrow. Obviously, have a good conversation and, and find out where we're at with the medical staff. Hi, Gareth. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, that level of physicality you spoke about, was that something that you were prepared for going into the game? Yeah, we were prepared for, um, but dealing with it is a different thing. You know, I think that, uh, of course, having Bunny and Alana on the pitch, two of our more physical players, is really important, particularly for set plays. We knew that set plays, they're quite bright in the movements that they make, and obviously with that type of size that they have and physicality, it's really difficult to play against. And... Um, you know, at 1 0, we were still defending a couple of scenarios like that where we were disappointed to give away set plays. Um, Yama making a really good save at one point. And obviously, then uh, Alba getting the goal, which allows us to, to maybe change things up a little bit more, get some people off that we'd like to manage. But um, yeah, I think the girls have, uh, have dealt with it really well tonight. We expected it, we thought it would be difficult, and they rose to the challenge. And it seemed Bunny was kind of the focus of a lot of that physicality throughout the game. It seems like she's in quite a lot of games. How does she kind of deal with that? Well, she's... I think Bunny has been, like, really, really good for us. I made a really big point of... In the pre-game huddle of, of, uh, of naming Bunny in terms of she's unplayable at the moment, really, really difficult to play against. And, and obviously... Without the ball, she's a big focal point for us. What I mean by that is she's the first player that sets off and I think her energy that she gives the team and the triggers that she sets on the press is such a, a big thing for the players to then go and join. And I think it's uh, it's great. And she did that tonight. You know, she really dug in. Um, of course, potentially, I would have liked to have maybe taken her off a little bit earlier, but it's really difficult in those games when they're quite tight. And I think the European games are all about winning. And she understands that. She didn't want to come off the pitch anyway. And obviously, when we got the second goal, we were able to do it. That's great. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. 
Who, Bunny? Yeah, yeah she's okay, Bunny. I think, um, yeah, sometimes uh, she enjoys that part of it, you know, that letting everyone know that she's she's taken a taken a knock. Um, but no, nah, she's she's been great for us, and she gets up, she gets back onto the pitch. The next action, the very next action, when she came off in the first half, is like an incredible like opportunity to go and close a keeper down, and she does it really well. I mean, everything that we do without the ball, when Buddy's in the team, is it starts with her, and you know she's she's gaining a lot of ground for us, getting a lot of obviously goals in terms of the goal she she gets against Spurs the other night. Um, and sometimes it might not necessarily be her that is the first contact, but she certainly sets off with that pace as she has. Hi, Gareth. Congrats Hi. on the win. Um, just you said about taking Bunny off. Um, how much were you looking ahead to Chelsea at this at the weekend in terms of making substitutions and the team selection tonight? Team selection, Jill Rod. Of course, as much as we'd like her in these games because she has quality, there's no doubt, and she's flying. We have to manage her in the right way, and um, you know we were able to manage her against Spurs on Friday night. We made the decision to obviously give Laura an opportunity, which she took and did well. And um, you know it was still good to get Jill on the pitch because she can't, she's very calm and composed and manages the game well at that point. Um, so that yeah, that was kind of like the main one um, outside of during the game in terms of trying to think ahead. It's really tough when you're one nil in Europe. There's no easy games. Um, it was probably only when Alba got the second goal. I mean, we felt really comfortable at one nil, but you know yourself, it only takes a second for the op op the opposition to score. So uh, we had to be really mindful of that. Um, because, like I said to you previously, in Europe, in these games, and we're new to it, we're young in the competition in that sense, and it's all about winning. And just on the weekend, how will you turn your attention to that and what do you expect from Chelsea? As soon as I walk out of this room, I think, uh, yeah, we've already started analysing it. We don't like to look too far ahead. I certainly tell that to the players. Obviously, my technical staff, we've been focusing. We've had one eye on this game in that respect. Of course, we are probably going into it a little bit light in personnel um, and, and numbers. And I think it's something that I probably spoke about earlier on in the season. The difference maybe from last season is maybe more options. But unfortunately, at the moment, we've we've got a, a few issues and with some top players. So to not be able to have them at your disposal is tough. But I like the fight that I'm seeing in the girls and we'll certainly go there fighting at the weekend.